Looking for some fun winter STEM activities? These five winter theme challenges are perfect for sub plans, one day lessons, and even classroom parties. Let's jump into these five fun winter ideas. The first winter STEM activity to try is an area and perimeter wrapping paper challenge. I used to teach STEM only three days out of the week when I first got started, so I was always looking for quick activities, and oftentimes these theme challenges would pop in and would be perfect for the week. All you need for this challenge is some cheap wrapping paper. You can even use butcher paper that is at your classroom. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit harder to wrap with, but if you want to save some time, grab that from your school, and some small boxes. If you can, make sure all of the boxes are about the same size. This will make the challenge more even for all of the kids so that all of their numbers can be compared, but definitely up to you if you don't really care about that part. So the goal for this challenge is students will be presented with three different methods for wrapping a gift. So you can look up different videos on YouTube. I have created a few different methods and quick little videos for kids that are included in this resource, but show them three different methods for wrapping a gift and students will choose one of those methods or a method that they already know and wrap the gift. From there, they are actually going to unwrap the gift carefully and they are going to actually measure the wrapping paper that they used and measure for the area and the perimeter. You can have students measure in just in inches, just in centimeters, they can measure in both and then see what are the similarities and differences if you want them to practice different types of measurement. From there, if the kids have the same size box, you can actually record the data using a line plot or you can graph all of that data as well. And even further, you can even compare the wrapping methods that students used and really talk about what methods are better or worse. This challenge was inspired by a volunteer opportunity I did in high school, which was way long ago, but I did a volunteer opportunity with one of my friends in high school where we were at the mall and people would bring in their gifts and we would wrap them for free. I think any tips that were collected were for donations. We didn't receive any money, but it was super fun. I learned how to wrap gifts in a very concise and precise way. And so this was really a good challenge for students too, because it's not always a winter challenge wrapping gifts, but I was super shocked. So many kids didn't know how to wrap gifts and a lot of them were actually getting really frustrated because they had never done this before. And some kids were telling me it was impossible, which like I said, everything new is hard at first. So this was actually a really good life skill, but again, practicing that area and perimeter within a real life way and learning which wrapping method might work best and use the least amount of paper. The second winter STEM activity to try is Snowman States of Matter. One of my all time favorite books is The Snowy Day. This is such a cute book. Really, when you read this book, it has the three states of matter when it comes to solids, liquids, and gases for water. So reread it with that frame of mind because it will definitely pop up at you. After reading this book with students, you can talk about the three states of matter. So there's that S in science, and then students can build the different states of matter of a snowman, the solid, liquid, and gas using Play-Doh or modeling clay. I prefer using the Crayola modeling clay. I've talked about this in past episodes. It doesn't dry out. It can be reused over and over again, and it's not as crumbly as Play-Doh. I get really frustrated with Play-Doh sometimes when it gets all crumbled up, the kids don't put the cap on. I know there's ways that you can reinfuse it with water, blah, 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 but not for me. I don't have time for that. So the Crayola modeling clay works well for this activity, and then they can demonstrate their learning by sharing it with other students in the class, or if you want to take it even further, you can integrate technology such as Seesaw, Flipgrid, all of those things where they can take a video and talk about how the three states of matter are represented in their snowman. The third winter theme STEM activity to try are toothpick snowflakes. We know in the older grades, it can get a little bit confusing of what the different lines, angles, and even how to measure different angles can be and how to remember how to do that. So why not do that type of lesson in a hands-on way? 
There is so much science and math behind snowflakes and how they are naturally created. And there's tons of videos that you can check out on YouTube that talk about the symmetry and the math behind a snowflake. After you discuss this and go over key vocabulary, students can create their own unique snowflake using toothpicks. You can have them tape them together. They can even glue them on paper using liquid glue. And then after that, they can record the math that is represented in their snowflakes, such as the lines of symmetry, the different types of angles, and they can even measure the angles that are in their design. This will actually take longer than you think because students are really trying to be precise with their snowflake design. So this is a great challenge that you can really dive in deeper when talking about those lines and angles. The fourth winter STEM activity to try is a gingerbread man STEM challenge. You can do this if you are reading different variations of the gingerbread man, which is so fun to read all of those different ones. I still have a collection of those books in my classroom because I, like I told you, you know me, I love a good theme and I love holidays and I love seasons and times of year. So after reading different versions of the gingerbread man, you could talk with the kids and say, what if? The gingerbread man had a streak of engineer creativity and decided to create a way to cross the river so that the fox wouldn't be able to eat it. This is a great lesson about sinking and floating and noticing what materials will obviously will sink or float and why. You can talk even more about the why behind it. And students can engineer a way for the gingerbread man to stay safe and travel safely across the water. You can fill up different buckets of water. I recommend putting these on the floor and having plenty of towels available and students can engineer their fun design. If you want students to share their work, for me personally, I take the videos in Seesaw with my phone really, really quick and upload them to the students' journals. I don't trust kids and technology and water all in the same vicinity of each other. So that's just definitely my recommendation. But this is a really cool way to think of an alternate ending to the original Gingerbread Man story. The fifth winter STEM activity to try goes along with the story 10 on the sled and students, well, they will be building a sled. After reading this cute counting story, students can create the 10 animals that are in the story, or you can give them pictures of the 10 animals that are listed, and students can design a sled that can keep all 10 animals on the sled when it's being tested. You can give students any types of materials that you would like. I like to use popsicle sticks, straws, pipe cleaners, and tape if I'm being nice. Sometimes I won't use tape, but you can use some tape. And students can engineer their sled and even test it. If you have a giant piece of cardboard, they can test their sleds and see if all 10 animals can stay on top. Now, a little trick with the animals is you can put them on Unifix cubes so they're more chunky. You have little pictures on paper, put them on Unifix cubes, and then they can maybe tape the animals on or engineer a way to create seatbelts or whatever. But this is a cool way to bring this simple counting story to life and make sure that all 10 animals stay on top. As a recap, here are the five winter STEM activities that we talked about in this episode that you can try in your classroom. First, we have the area and perimeter wrapping paper challenge. Next are the snowman states of matter. Third are toothpick snowflakes. Fourth is the gingerbread man STEM challenge. And fifth is the 10 on the sled book activity. If you try any of these winter STEM challenges in your classroom, make sure to take pictures and videos of them in action and tag me on Instagram at Naomi Meredith underscore. I would love to see how these go in your classroom. And of course, these can all be found in the show notes linked for today, where you can have it all packaged up nicely and have all the things that you're looking for to have a success in your classroom.